Greetings, church family, and happy Good Friday to you. It's Good Friday. What a wonderful day of celebration for the church. Amen? Well, it is day 26 of our 24-hour prayer circuit, and as I just stated, today is Good Friday. You know, as I'm thinking about what the first Good Friday was like, I, you know, it was the day that our Savior was crucified. So I don't know how joyous uh, it was that day. There was a lot of grief for the saints on that day. Um, just imagine, like, some of them had to be afraid. Some of them were beginning to lack faith. Christ had been killed. Their leader had been killed on today. I think about Good Friday and I'm, I'm thinking now how the scripture records at noon, darkness fell over the earth. So imagine that right now. At noon, all of a sudden, the earth goes completely dark. This was the first Good Friday. What was the world thinking? What were those that were saying crucify him? What were they thinking? And then at three o'clock, the scripture records how he yielded up his spirit unto, he yielded up his spirit. He said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. So, you know, think about that and what people were thinking when he said, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. You know, some thought that he was calling on Elias. And so think about it. It had gone dark. He cries this out. Now some were looking for uh, the prophet to come back to the earth and maybe uh, rescue him. So some people were looking for, for him to come, the prophet. So it was a very interesting day. Then it says when Jesus gave up his spirit, an earthquake took place and rocks were split and the veil in the temple was rent in twain. And thereafter, the church changed. When that veil ripped, it was a new day in the church. I'm thinking about today like it's Good Friday. What a new day. What a new experience. How many people are beginning to lose faith and get afraid and they're seeing loved ones die. There's a lot of simile. You know, perhaps, um, I'm not saying that God's coming like in a, a month or two, but who knows? You know, God's timing is much different than ours, but maybe it's a, a prelude to shake the church again, that, that earthquake, and then something happened in the church. It was rent in twain, the veil was. You know, perhaps there's a new shaking on the earth that is saying, church, I would that none would be lost. So for everybody in the church who's, who has a little issue that you need to get right with God, you may have a flesh issue, you may have a faith issue, you may have, um, you know, just various issues that you know you may have hatred that you need to get rid of. Uh, perhaps the Lord is shaking the church again. And, you know, goes on to say that um, uh, saints that were believing and had faith, some of the holy saints that had gone on at that hour too when Jesus had given up his spirit, not only did the earthquake, the rocks split, um, the veil in the temple was rent in twain, and it also says the tombs were open and some of the saints went into the city. Who knows? What, what saints got up, you know? I don't know if it was saints within the current time or saints of old, who knows? Who knows who got up? You know, it's just interesting facts, but that was what Good Friday looked like. Could you imagine some of your loved ones that have gone on seeing them on Good Friday? That's what Good Friday was like. It was a very interesting day. Well, you know, we can celebrate today because we know that God died for our sins. 
See, we get to see later that he was risen again. Of course, they did too. But that day, some were fearful. But we know the whole story now. And so that's why we can call it a Good Friday. I want you to have a blessed day. Um, look for tonight, our cooking show. Amen. And then we look forward to seeing you Sunday in the drive through communion. Also, Bishop will be doing an online um, something that the PAW is having, and he's going to be the first one up speaking, and that's going to be online tonight, so you'll get a chance to see that. I hope you are feeling blessed today. I hope you have your hope and your joy. You know what? Somebody is going to be healed today. Can the church say amen? I dare you to touch yourself because we all are somebody. I even say now, I just feel, I feel a, a move of God, I have to say. And so, Lord, just all of us right now, just lay your hands on yourself. We're going to pray together right now. Lord, we're asking you to any infirmity that is in our bodies, anything, things that we may not even know are there that want to show up five years from now or something that's there now and we don't even know about, things there now that we do know about. In the name of Jesus, on this Good Friday, I am healed in Jesus' name. Saints, I love you. I just feel, I feel the Lord. I feel him and I know that we are being healed. Just say it again, I'm healed in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a wonderful Good Friday. Get your joy on. What's the song that I can sing right now? Um, oh, the blood of Jesus. Help me sing. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Help me sing it. Oh, the blood of Jesus that washes white as snow. God bless you.